going on guys? My name is Neil and I'm an actor and I recently worked with Georgia on the CBBC show Secret Life of Boys. By the way, new series out now. Georgia very kindly asked me to send in a video just giving advice or any tips to anyone wanting to do acting or just learn about it. I'm gonna give you my personal process when it comes to auditions and you can watch this and think, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's all right. Or you could think, man, this guy's waffling because everyone has their own technique. First thing I'll do if it's for a new show, I'll research the production company, uh, see what other shows they've done. Or if it's for a show that's already running, I'll, um, you know, I might check a few episodes out, see what see what the show's about. Then I'll read the character's brief. Uh, sometimes they'll send a little bio uh, saying what that character's about, what's, what's he like, um, characteristics, things like that. Then I'll just sit and learn the script, uh, no matter how long it takes, I'll just go over it and over it, just prepare myself for the audition room. Casting won't be mad if you don't know the words. Well, they won't be angry and shout at you, it's just, it's like a job interview and for any interview you have to prepare, so knowing the lines is kind of like, you know, it's first kind of step. Once I've learnt the lines, uh, sometimes I'll record myself on my phone and just watch it back to see, you know, if it's believable or not and if there's anything I can change, you know, anything else I can do to make it better. When it comes to going into the actual audition, you know, it's, it's easy to say, don't get nervous, but that would be hypocritical for me to say because, you know, you can get nervous. Don't get me wrong, like nerves can get the better of anyone. It's happened to me so many times, but you just gotta try and overcome that. Especially when, you know, there's a you know, hundred other people out there going for the same part as you in the waiting room. And, you know, sometimes you all look exactly the same. It's like, oh, you know, what chance do I have? But you're there for a reason and they've asked to see you because they see something in you. The best advice I got, which I'm just gonna say to you guys is, when you walk in to the audition room, the casting director doesn't want you to be terrible. Like they're not, you know, they're not gonna sit and be like, oh, go on then, like, you know, what are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do for us? They're not like that. They, they want you to be, they want you to be good because they wanna give you the part. And sometimes you won't get it and you'll get rejection because maybe you just wasn't right for that particular part or you didn't look a certain way that they had, they envisioned their character. So if you've been through that audition process and you've had rejection, then, you know, don't dwell on it. Just that part just wasn't for you. Just it's on to the next thing, you know what I mean? So I don't know if this has been any decent advice or, you know, good techniques or I've just been waffling to the camera, but yeah, that's my personal experience. Thanks for putting me on the channel, Georgia, and watch Secret Life of Boys on CBBC. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marnie. My tip would be to never, ever, ever give up because everyone's journey is different. We're all going to make it at different stages. But um, if you are working hard and perfecting your craft and you're going to auditions and you are persevering, then you will make it. It's just a question of when. It took me three years to land my first role and it was so worth the wait. So just don't give up hope. Keep trying and know that believing in yourself will get you somewhere. Hello, my name is Bethany Monclain and I am an actor. Um, one thing I think is really important to being an actor is listening skills. And that could be whether you're in a scene with a scene partner, you have to respond to how they're reacting to what you're saying, but also it could be uh, an, a director's giving you a note or uh, you're in an audition room and they ask you to change up how you're how you're performing something. It, they want to see if you're malleable and uh, if you're able to change the way that you play a character and that's an exciting thing. It's it's not a criticism or a, or a challenge. Um, my one great acting tip or industry tip would be to always remember that not every role is meant for you. I think sometimes we can kind of doubt ourselves and put everything into question when we don't get a role that we want or don't get a role that we feel like is is meant for us. That just wasn't meant for you and that, that one that is meant for you is going to be on its way. So you just learn from that. You learn to move forward and you learn to kind of be able to put things in the past and not let it affect the way that you view yourself or the way that you see yourself as an actor because it's very easy especially when you know you go to an audition and it's already like terrifying as it is to kind of fall into the trap that most people do which is kind of say Shit, am i even am i even good enough to do this when in reality you really are it's just that specific role wasn't the one for you or maybe just someone was just a little bit better there's no harm in that. It does not mean that you're not good enough. It just means that 
the one that is meant for you is on its way. You could be one opportunity away from that role and that should always keep you going. Hey guys, I'm Rihanna Merrills. My top tip as an actor would be to pay attention at all times. So when you're in a scene, pay attention because the other actor in that scene is often giving you something or they've got different objectives to you. So you need to be listening and always just like really focused on the other person and not just yourself and not just your lines and things like that. Even in a casting, often the casting director is trying to help you get the role so they might be like trying to provoke you when they say a line or trying to excite you when they say a line because they want your reaction to reflect what you've just heard. So just make sure you're always paying attention. Also another top tip for me would be just really be in touch with how you're feeling at all times. If you're feeling like this week's really hard and I just feel uninspired and I don't feel creative and I just don't feel like myself, you're probably not gonna be that excited about an audition and that's okay, but just take the time to look after yourself and look after your mental health because this industry moves so quickly and you really need to be like in a good place to be involved and to be excited about it all because it is hard, it's a really tough job but it's definitely worth it. Hi everyone, I'm Georgie, a friend of George's and I'm a singer, dancer and actor and my top piece of advice for anyone who's going to be going to acting auditions is to be yourself and be confident. When you go in there, allow your personality to shine through because a lot of the time that's actually what the casting director is looking at and paying attention to. If you bluff a line, if you do something slightly wrong, don't worry about it. You don't need to be perfect. All of that can be worked on. But the thing that they can't change is your personality and how you're going to be to work with and what interpretation you're going to bring to that part. So I think it's really important to not overthink it. It's the casting director's job to cast you. It's your job to act. So go in there and act. Don't overthink what they're going to be thinking constantly. I think that's a very easy thing to do and a trap that you can fall into and then it sort of inhibits what you can project and it affects your confidence because you're constantly second guessing what the casting director is going to be thinking, what the producer is going to be thinking when actually you just need to go in there, be yourself and act. So yeah, I hope that piece of advice helps and good luck. Right, okay, audition advice, I'm just going to get straight to it. Um, getting there early is good, it's always good. It's good for them but it's also good for you. Um, I feel that once I get there, uh, London's quite fast paced anyway, uh, you're always rushing to get to one place at any given time, so getting there early for yourself, you're just able to get there, relax, collect your thoughts, maybe go over your minds and just, you know, crack on with it. My one audition tip for you guys is when you go into that audition room, into the cast and director's room, be yourself, because from my experience, it's easier that way. It allows the cast and directors to see your switch from yourself to that character. Because if you go in acting as someone else and not yourself, then when you're going in to switch to that character, that cast and director is going to be like, uh, I see a similarity here. So when you go in, you say, hi, how are you? Be friendly, be polite, be yourself. And then allow that cast and director to see that switch. Because then that's what's going to draw them in. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Dale Edwards and G has asked if I could give what I would say is the most important bit of advice that I've learned over my time as an actor. And what I would say is the most important thing is be true to yourself. When you see that character, when you read that character, do what you would want to do with it. Because we spend so much time being rejected in this job. It's a terrible situation, We're rejected every single day. So if you go into an audition room or if you go onto that set and you try and please everybody else, you'll never be truly fulfilled. We, we get hired on the basis that we know what we're doing. So trust yourself, believe in what you're doing, and go out there with full conviction, whether it be on set, in an audition, or just in day-to-day -day life. Believe in yourself, and remember that you're worth more than anybody else's rejection.